Hey guys, I'm Viknesh and welcome back to my YouTube channel Cloud and AI Analytics. Hope everyone are doing good. So in today's video, we are going to see the next available transformation functions in Apache Beam. Those are group by, group by key, co-group by key and group into batches. So out of this group by key and co-group by key are part of core beam transformations as well. So without any further delay, let's get started with today's video. The first topic is group by. So uh, before starting, I just wanted to give a quick introduction. What is group by? So everyone who is using pandas might have been familiar with the concept uh, concept or a method or function called group by. So the same suits sir. The only difference between that pandas group by pandas and Apache beam panda group by is um, in Apache beam, the group by function takes the collection of elements as a data and produces a collection of elements, grouped elements by the properties of those elements. The properties in the sense, what is that aggregator function or what is the actual uh, logic which we will be using to produce this collection grouped. Before going into the next point, I just wanted to uh, show it how it is done practically and we will continue with these two points. So I have implemented it practically in Collab Notebooks. So I have already installed the Apache Beam and I have imported Apache Beam as Beam. Going forward in this playlist, we will be using uh, Google Collab as well as Google Cloud Dataflow Runner for practical implementations. So we will be importing Apache Beam as Beam and group by. As I said earlier, it takes a collection of P elements. Like it takes a P collection. Uh, those are the elements present in this P collection and I am forming a group by on the uh, on the element first uh, on the element of the p collection so i'm taking um, i'm taking the first element of all the uh, data elements present in the apache uh, present in the p collection i'm taking it and i'm forming the group by on the first element of the data so basically strawberry all those strawberry will be in a one object raspberry will be in other object blueberry blackberry banana will be again in the third object so as you see this result now s as strawberry r as raspberry b as blueberry blackberry and banana so this is the simple implementation of uh, group by so the next function is we'll be forming uh, we'll be seeing how to implement using an aggregator function with the group by function with the group by so i'm creating a grocery list with the columns like recipe pie fruit as strawberry quantity and unit price this is the data so it has four data related to pi and two relate data related to muffin so i am creating a pipeline so this group i am creating the uh, p collection or based on the grocery list and i am i am creating a group by on the recipe so basically all these things will be in the one one form one form of data and the other two things will be in the other form of data which we are we are able to see here pi as one pi strawberry and followed by the other things raspberry followed by blackberry and followed by blueberry so everything is like pi we have formed a group by on the recipe column pi and muffin as two columns one is blueberry the other one should be banana and the third function third we are just creating an like this that is a basic level which now will be involving the aggregator functions like some mean median mode all those things so i'm basically creating uh, say using the same grocery list to create the p collection and i'm uh, using the group by on fruit column now on the fruit column um, taking this quantity co quantity column i'm making a sum and i'm re naming it as total quantity and i'm just printing it so if you see here fruit strawberry raspberry blackberry blueberry banana so total quantity what is the total quantity basically sum that's it basically sum and we are just presenting it so in this case blueberry should be three and if you see blueberry is three so the next thing is the same aggregator function ag uh, forming aggregator on the column uh, recipe on the column quantity and to, uh, naming it as total quantity to recipe it has two columns two data one is pi and muffin basically uh, it will have pi four five six and recipe muffin is five six and five so we have to understand the difference between group by key and group by so to understand the difference we will go through what is what is group by key so group by key as i told, told you earlier group by key is an uh, 
a core beam transformation as well and it does the transformation logic in the form of key value pairs so it takes a key keyed collection of elements and produce a collection where each element consists of key on all the values associated with that key so it will uh, do that logic uh, transformation logic on the key and the, all the values associated to that particular key and it is it is a parallel reduction operation and as i said earlier like map shuffle reduce like we can use it in the part two function as well so that is what parallel reduction operation is and we will see this in an example as well so before proceeding i just wanted to give you the difference between group by and group by key so in group by there is no need of key value pairs whereas in group by key we need that p collection in the form of key value pairs so that is the main difference in group by the key is dynamically created from the element themselves whereas in group by key we have to explicitly pass the data in the form of key and value pairs so now we have we'll see uh, we will understand what is group by key now with the practical implementation i have basically created a record so this is my students list viknesh neetu for key sai tinkle so this is my uh, uh, key key name key values key and this is my values basically 27 is the age and what is the designation 27 26 29 28 is the age and what is the designation and whether this is available in the um, and this data is uh, like whether they are employed or unemployed so this is what um, this is what we are going to group by using group by key so basically in real time data in real time data will be quite mess messy we have to deal it uh, particularly every like every data will have its own uh, data uh, structure all those things so in my case in my case it is really com like not i'll not say complex but it is uh, the data is in the form of uh, key value pass as well as uh, it is quite clumsy uh, it, the data is getting repeated or it will have null values all those things it is part of handled Uh, as the part of data processing pipeline so i'm creating a pipeline and storing creating a p collection just creating the record and i'm using beam dot group by key so once i'm using this beam dot group by key i'm just printing out the values now you can see viknesh is my key neetu faruki sai tinkle is my key name and the age and what is the designation engineer basically they are employed or unemployed all those detail we can see it in the form of uh we can see it in the uh, form of p collection if you want you can write this to a particular location like write to text or write to big query or write to postgres sql instance anything so now next we have to understand what is co group by key so we'll first we'll see what is co group by key and then we will understand what is the difference between co group by key and group by key when to use what so co group by key as i said like it does the same function uh, of what co group by key does but the main difference is co group group by key performs operation over a single input collection and a single type of input values whereas co group by key operates over multiple input collections so this is the main difference and it aggregates all the input elements by their key and allows downstream processing to consume all the values associated with the key and i said the difference between Uh, co group by key and uh, group by key now always you should remember this point co group by key experts a dictionary of named keyed p elections p collections so we will see what this means in the practical implementation so now i have created uh, two p collections data one is student pairs uh, with this key values and their marks and this is again key value on where the status whether it is fail or pass so basically these are two different p collection one is student pairs the other one is student results now i am creating a, so now i am creating a dictionary so this is the main uh, uh, a requirement for co group by key it always accepts a, expects a dictionary of named key elections and produces elements joined by their keys the value of each output elements or dictionary where the names correspond to the input dictionary with the list of values found for that key so everything will be in the form of dictionary and basically we have to identify uh, the data the values related to that particular key in our use case this is our key this act the name will act as a key 
and respect to all other details now i am creating a dictionary and i am uh, using group by key to get the detail so basically everything got merged vignesh call on neetu saw everything the marks and the whether result is pass or fail so this is what group by group by key and crow group by key when to use what basically everything is i believe i made everything clear uh, basically you have to use uh, group by when there is no key value pairs involved in the p collection and you have to use group by key when there is a key value pair involved in the p collection with a sing with the p collection must be in a single p collection not it should not include multiple p collections and co group by key is it should have key value pairs and it should have multiple p collections so one form of data will be one form of data will be present in the one p collection the other form of data will be present in the other p collections we have to map match that values with the help of the key values with the help of the keys which is in the form of and uh, co group by key it will be in the form of dictionary now we will see what is group into batches so basically it batches the input data based on the batch size which we pass on the key values so now i am creating a, a pipeline with the data spring for there are four spring and four different values uh, three summer with three different values fall two and winter is one now i am passing beam dot group into batches four so basically all these things it will create one key value spring and all the values related to this four if i give th three year if i give three year basically it will this spring with like the one spring will have only three column three values and this will be present in the another it will create another spring key and it will add that value to that batch if you can see here so as i told area spring is present here uh, it will have one particular um, data will have what is the batch size which will like in real time data we wanted to do the batch size processing uh, this method will come in handy so that's it for today's video uh, I have given you the links to the topics which I covered in this video. Basically, if you have any doubts, go through this and please post those doubts in the comment section. I will try to answer it as soon as possible. I hope you learn something new from this video. Uh, please do like, comment, share and subscribe to Cloud and AI Analytics and don't forget to click, on the, click the bell icon. So that's it for today's video. I uh, will meet you in the next video with the new content until then it's bye from viknesh happy learning